All right, let's look at the complete process for updating uh, your Riverside or Sunset for MIDI. And I've already done this with my Riverside. My wife has one too, so let's let's update hers. So what you're going to want to do is I'm going to try to show you on these screens. It's kind of hard to show everything, I guess, but I've googled Riverside MIDI Strymon and then the first thing that pops up is kind of the blog post about you know kind of familiarizing you with what the concept is there's a short video to watch and it tells you where to get the firmware uh, so we're going to go there first click right let's see if we can see that here you're going to want to get right up there where it says new firmware there's probably another way to get to it from the Strymon site but so I have a Mac of course we're going to go we're going to open this up And then I've already installed this, but all you want to do is just drag that over on your Strymon. It's going to be the same for Riverside or uh, Sunset, but I have a Riverside. I had a Sunset for a little while, and then I ended up parting with it because it didn't have MIDI. Go figure, huh? Uh, what you're going to need to complete this, by the way, is a micro USB cable, that one that looks like that. And obviously a screwdriver. Let's get this back plate off. This update was not available on this same size uh, small box Strymon pedals such as like the El Capistan and um, Deco. I kind of wish it was, but it's not. It was kind of Trojan horsed into these um, newer ones, Riverside and Sunset. Anyway, four screws off, take the back plate off. And on the left side, so if you're facing the pedal, obviously left side, that's where you want to get to. Your pedal needs power. So we're going to power it up and place it on something non-conductive. This is a rubber surface here. So you can see that we have power. I'm going to plug that USB cable into the left side of this Riverside. And then I'm going to open up that that Strymon update software. So in my list of applications, it's just sitting right here. Gonna open that up. And then with your pedal already plugged in, it tells you that you have a connected device. And I'm not doing anything off screen over here, but I'm just going to click on check for updates. Right there. An update is available and then we just click to install. And as it's doing that, the actual pedal is blinking some white lights. Then it power cycles. And on your computer, it shows your device is up to date. All right. So that's how it's all done for that. 
then we have to go in, and I don't think this is in that video, but we're going to go through and now configure this pedal. So I'm going to disconnect power. Put the back plate back on. So just updating the um, firmware isn't the end of the story. You still need to configure this thing to work with MIDI. All right, back plate back on. This is where this screen is going to come in handy. This iPad. And we have this guy where you can see both of them. If I can. So let's just walk through this. Once you have connected the Riverside to a MIDI source, you must set the expression jack to MIDI mode. Press and hold the favorite switch while connecting the pedal to power. So press and hold the favorite, connect to power. Turn the level knob clockwise until the B LED turns blue. I guess they're calling this A and B, I don't know. But you see See the LED changing all these different colors. Each one is probably for a different um, mode for that expression switch. One is probably expression. Another one might be something else. We want blue. And then you press either foot switch to store the assignment. So now we're set up for MIDI. Next, you want to set the MIDI channel. Um, I think I had mine set to channel 2, because I was using it with my faves, so let's just set this one to channel 2. Press and hold the on foot switch while connecting the pedal to power. So I think we did this one on the last one, now we're going to do this side. There we go. Wait for it to blink, then release. Now, turn the drive knob to set the MIDI channel. Green is channel one. Amber is channel two. You see that change? Yeah, that's showing up. Uh, red is channel three. And blue is four through 16. Now, that gets a little more complicated. That requires a, a, a MIDI connection. It looks like it says it'll blink until the pedal receives a program change message. So in other words, if you wanted to have it on channel 10, you would just send a program change right now, if I'm reading this correctly, and then this will accept that as the MIDI channel. But we were talking about channel two, which is amber. And then I think you just press it and you're good to go. Um, setting the MIDI output mode. Um, by default, it's off, so we're going to leave that alone. And then let's see how much time have I got. I can show real quick how to save a preset. It's fairly simple. Sorry, I don't have this connected to an amp right now, so you won't be able to hear that it's done anything. But I'll just sh I'll sh I'll show you what the process looks like. Uh, it does this using a standard um, guitar patch cable, so not a TRS, just a regular patch cable. It's going to go into the expression jack. 
which has now been configured for MIDI. Other side goes into this faves. And I have a switch on mine that um, changes the output of the faves from the tip to the ring. So I just have it on tip. And then what you do is you'd have your pedal on. Scoot in a little bit on this. You'd set up the pedal however you like it. Say you wanted some kind of light drive, that would be over here. I'm going to save that exactly this way right now. We wanted to save that as a preset. So, I mean, I, I realize a lot of you don't have a faves, but all this is doing is sending a program change. You could do that with this. You could do that with something else, like a MIDI controller. Doesn't matter. I'm just walking you through the procedure real quick. Press and hold the favorite switch. Once you get it all set up the way you like, press and hold, and it will start blinking blue. And it's waiting for a program change. We're going to send it one from this uh, fave switch. And the, the light stops blinking, and it's now lit up as amber. If we wanted to save, say something else, into the next slot, set it up differently, press and hold, so it's blinking blue. Now we've saved another one, set it up. This will do three presets on this bank, so I'm just kind of cycling through a couple real quick. Press and hold, and then send it another one. And then as I cycle through, you can see that LED down there changing red to amber. So I think that red, yeah, that red one, as I was cycling through, let me show you that one more time. So this is cycling uh, three presets, zero, one, and two. That would be one, two, and that's zero. And see how zero turns it red? I think that's what we're getting right here. Selecting bank zero, patch zero will recall Riverside's onboard favorite preset, red favorite LED. So whatever your um, favorite was. Like before this thing had MIDI, we all had like one preset by stepping on the favorite switch. There we go. And that's the red, remember? So what sending that zero does is recalls your favorite. Okay, so selecting uh, 127, we'll put it into manual mode. So that would be whatever the current configuration of your knobs on the pedal is. Yeah. Anyway, there's probably more you can dive into, but that's the basics. That's how you get this thing up and running. I've been kind of messing around with the other one I did all day, and it's working great. So. Thanks for watching.